How did we get to the point where we're celebrating Hamas in the West? Hi, I'm Brian Lilly, political columnist for the Toronto Sun. You can see the demonstrations around the Western world, people not just standing up and saying, I stand in solidarity with the Palestinian people. I want uh, Palestinian people to have their own state. No, they are celebrating Hamas, whether they're chanting in favor of them at the Sydney Opera House, whether they are doing so in the streets of London, England, or here in Canada, people are doing it. We saw this at a protest in Vancouver this past week, where a woman identified as someone that used to head up the BC Civil Liberties Association is talking about how great it was to see the Palestinians learn to use hang gliders for their liberation. Watch. Is the spirit to get free? How deep is the spirit to get free? How beautiful is the spirit to get free? That Palestinians literally learned how to fly on hang gliders. Woo! Then, of course, we're seeing letters issued in the names of different student organizations. This past weekend, the law school at Toronto Metropolitan University, formerly Ryerson, had 74 different students sign a letter saying that anything done in the name of Palestinian resistance was fine by them. This wasn't a hot off the presses uh, hot take. This wasn't something done in the middle of uh, a time period where people didn't know what was going on. This happened two weeks after the October 7th terrorist attacks, the atrocities that we all knew took place. These people who want to be officers of the court, who want to be lawyers, put out a letter that said this. Let me read you this quote. We, the undersigned, recognize that the apartheid state referred to as Israel is a product of settler colonialism. We stand in solidarity with Palestine and all forms of Palestinian resistance and efforts towards liberation. They even refer to Israel as just a brand for a settler colonial state. They delegitimize Israel, but they also, they said right in there, all forms of Palestinian resistance. That would include the killing of children, infants, the elderly, the massacre of civilians, young people like them who were at a, a, a concert. And these people are openly cheering them. Now, I've raised this question and some people have said to me, well, this is all due to immigration. No, it's not. Because it's not just people who came from the Middle East and have a strong connection to the Palestinian people. This is happening with people who were born and raised in this country, sometimes for generations and generations. This is part of the mindset that is being taught in our elementary and high schools, in our universities, in the DEI courses that corporations are mandating. This is all part and parcel of this. And we have a, we have a mental rot going on. We have an academic rot going on where we are accepting things that simply aren't true, that do not stand with our liberal values, simply because of identity politics. This group is always right, that group is always wrong. We stand with the Palestinians so much that it doesn't matter what they do, it's justified. That is a sick and twisted worldview, but it's prominent across the West now and it's highly disturbing. How we fix it? That's a question I don't have any answers for. Let me know what you think, drop a comment down below, share this on social media, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.